I created this video yesterday of me befriending a bear. Really, I filmed this video with the purpose of teaching myself how to use the multi-elements feature in Kling AI. The multi-elements feature in Kling allows you to edit 5 to 10 second videos, which was my first time working with videos and not photos or still frames in Kling. This was the only scene where the camera was moving and it did a great job tracking and adding the bear. As you can see, I made sure to leave enough room for the bear while filming so that there would be space for the bear to fit in the frame. So now I'm going to show you a quick example of how I use the multi-elements feature in Clean AI. So I'm going to a new sequence in Premiere Pro. I'm adding the clip that I want to edit in Clean and make sure that it's at least five seconds long or else it will not work. It has to be five to 10 seconds. Then go to sequence and sequence settings at the top of Premiere Pro and make sure at the time base that it's set to 24 frames per second. That's really important or else you it will not upload to Clean without it being 20 24 frames per second. So that's how I switched it to 24 FPS. Now I'm going to export this five, six second clip, and then we're gonna bring it into Clean AI. I'm going to rename the file and save it to the desktop, export it. Once it's exported, go to cleanai.com on your internet safari browser. And once you're into the website, you want to hit create at the top right. Then at the left, you want to go to the video tab section. So click video and there's a bunch of options. There's text to video, image to video. We want multi elements. So we could do frames, elements within image to video, but we're gonna work with multi-elements, which switches you to Kling 1.6 model. So now we're going to upload our video. So it has to be at least five seconds, like I said, so this meets the criteria. So now it's uploading. And since we're adding a bear into the video, once it's uploading, we wanna hit add. Instead of swap, add, delete, as you can see there are the different options. We're going with add for this tutorial, just to add in the bear. And then we're gonna upload an image of a bear that I got from Google and isolated with a white background and Photoshop beta. And I'm gonna bring that image of the bear into Clean AI so it can use it as a reference image so it knows what I'm trying to add. And then in the prompt, using the context of the video, video uploaded, seamlessly add X. And within X, you want to delete the X and add in the prompt that you would like to be seen generated in the video. So in my case, bear eating a red apple from reference image. And then you're going to hit generate and voila, here are the results. So freaking amazing. I can't even stand it. The way Kling tracked the bear and the movement of the iPhone was just beautiful. Just so well done. I used my Canon 5D Mark III and tripod to film this video, and I wrote the scenes I wanted to act out in my notes beforehand. Here are the results! A human alien is doom scrolling in the wild west of Southern California. Glued to her phone, the female is unaware of the bear that is behind her. As the bear sits next to her, the female thinks, I can either die now, or I can be cool and make friends with this bear. The female reaches into her fanny pack and pulls out a fresh apple. Then she does what humans do best, which was to take a selfie with the bear. You know what they say, the fresher the apple the fresher the hoe. Ha ha just wanted to make myself say that, you little human bitches. Here are some of my personal thoughts on the use of AI in VFX. AI is here to stay, so you may as well take advantage of it. If you're creating text to video AI videos, that is gonna be boring and of no interest to me. I use AI often in my work, but I'm also spending hours filming, rotoscoping, layering, masking, etc. My human touch creates all of my videos and Kling is just the icing that adds more dynamicism or whatever to the final edit. Every artist who disses AI uses AI to make their workflow easier with generative fill, generative expand, etc. in Photoshop beta. These are necessary AI tools that save hours on workflow. And before AI, I use stock photos in my photography and videos, often spending hundreds of dollars on stock photos. AI just does a better job with shadows and overall compositing. So like I said, it's here to stay. You may as well take advantage of it and just have fun with it like me because it's really made a difference in my life and I kind of can't imagine life without it now. <laughs>